Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, just a quick video. So, it looks like the Kyle Busch saga is finally over. Uh, multiple sources have told Jordan Bianchi that it looks like Kyle Busch is heading to Richard Childress Racing, which I don't think I had that on my 2022 bingo card. Then again, I don't think anyone really did. Now, we really haven't gotten an actual official announcement from Kyle Busch or Richard Childress. Uh, as a matter of fact, Kyle Busch actually replied to Jeff Gluck's tweet about it, basically with the gif of the guy looking at like every equation. That's basically what it was. So yeah, I'm hoping this isn't like McLaren from earlier this year, if you remember what happened there, or Kyle Busch is simply trolling us. But yeah, it looks like as of right now, Kyle Busch is heading to RCR, which probably sounds cursed to some people. It all really started when Mars M&Ms announced at the start of the year that they were going to leave NASCAR at the end of 2022. You know, it wasn't really thought about the idea that he was going to lead the team that he's been with for the last 15 years. Go all the way back to 2008. That's when that was his first year at Joe Gibbs Racing and all these wins and two cup championships later and it looks like he's heading off to RCR. So what does this mean? He is practically the first domino to fall. Now we have to wait and see again if this is, you know, once actually announced by Kyle Busch and or Richard Childress Racing, then at that point, I'll feel a little more comfortable. But for the time being, let's speculate. Obviously, Tyler Reddick's situation is quite interesting because he has signed a deal to start driving for 2311 Racing in 2024. So I can't help but wonder if Tyler Reddick may have to take a wait year, as in maybe he gets loaned out to a team like Colleg, they still honor the contract, and something like that. And because of that, Reddick is still able to race next year with whoever, kind of like a wait year, similar to what Casey Kane did in 2011 and what Clint Boyer did in 2016. Uh, we could see a similar situation to that. And who takes the 18 since Kyle is leaving? I mean, let's face it, guys. It's it's going to be Ty Gibbs. I really don't know who else is going to take that car. Um, you know, we could start speculating who can take the 19 when MTJ retires in the near future. But right now, I think I really don't think Ty Gibbs has anything left to prove. I think that's where he's going to go. He's going to be in the 18 next year. He's already doing cup races as it is. And then you're probably asking, well, what about Kurt Busch? Well, Denny Hamlin has said that Kurt is his guy in the 45 next season, unless Kurt says otherwise. So as of right now, unless something changes, Kurt will be the driver of that 45 car. And my guess is probably he retires after next year. Reddick takes the 45 in 2024. So yeah, not to mention Richard Childress Racing will also get KBM. Um, KBM being the truck team, they'll move over to Chevrolet probably. Ironically enough, Kyle Busch said that his son Brexton, who obviously is starting to race uh, at, you know, he's seven years old for Pete's sake, but uh, Brexton was a big part of making the decision and that, you know, obviously, I guess RCR is going to have Brexton Bush in about, I don't know, 15 years from now. So, yeah, there's that. Obviously, we'll, we'll see where he stands. But as of right now, 10 years from now, Brexton will, could possibly be the biggest prospect in NASCAR, for all we know. And that's 10 years out, of course. But as it stands, yeah, Kyle Busch is going to RCR. We don't know if it's going to be a third uncharted car or what number it's going to be. We don't have any of those details yet. All we know is Kyle Busch is going to RCR, it looks like. And the biggest question for me now is, is this going to be a step up for Richard Childress Racing? Is this going to be a step down for Kyle Busch? Because obviously RCR, they win every now and then, but obviously they're not on the level that Joe Gibbs Racing is. Now, if they're able to have reddick for next year and have kyle bush and be a three-car team rcr may have their best season in years um and they've had a pretty good year you know tyler reddick got his first two career wins winning at road america and the indy road course austin dillon got the season finale win at daytona i felt like uh rcr is a team under the radar and they're able to sneak out wins every now and then so I'm curious to see how Kyle Busch does in that equipment, because it's not going to be equipment like Jogi's Racing. Obviously, we've seen that difference when Brad Keselowski made the move from Team Penske to uh, RFK Racing this year, formerly known as Roush Fenway. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say there. I, I'm i still trying to process it in my mind. I never, never would have thought Kyle Busch would leave Jogi's Racing. I thought that was going to be his home for the rest of his career, but... 
apparently not. Uh, things change sometimes, you know? I mean, no one thought Tom Brady would leave the Patriots. No one thought Dale Jr. would leave DEI. I mean, Kyle Busch has practically been the biggest free agent since Dale Jr. in 2007, and Kyle himself to an extent, too, when Kyle made the move to JGR. So yeah, that pretty much does it there. I'm really intrigued to see how all the dominoes fall for Silly Season at this point, because this was like the major domino that needed to fall in order for everything else to happen. It's kind of crazy how one driver can affect how Silly Season plays out for everybody else. So yeah, that's about it, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.